everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas! So, very excitingly, um, I am about to head to the train station to go down to London and meet Demi and then this time tomorrow, well this time tomorrow we'll be in Turkey, um, <laughs> <laughs> the most random thing ever. So Demi messaged me on WhatsApp um, this like a week ago today and said, are you free between the 30th and the 2nd, as in next week? Um, and before I'd like seen it and replied, she was ringing me and I thought, oh my God, something's happened. Like what's, what on earth is going on? And then she, <laughs> basically Demi's been invited to Turkey um, along with the Turkish Tourism Board. And um, yeah. I'm going as a plus one. So she'd said initially that she wasn't sure if she wanted to go. It's very last minute, um, a little bit out of a comfort zone. And I was like, no, you have to go. Like it's it's an opportunity. You know, a couple of days away in Turkey, it's such an experience. Like you you guys will know me with travel. I am a huge advocate for it now. Just if you get the chance to do something, then go. Um, especially if it's like a press trip where like you're not really spending any money no brainer on my end and then she said all right okay yeah I'm, yeah I'm gonna go do you want to come with me and I was like yes <laughs> what a question of course I'm coming with you um so I'm going as well <laughs> Demi's already down in London so I am gonna go to Newcastle Central Station and get the train down to uh, King's Cross and then I'm gonna try and do the underground the tube to get to Paddington where she is um, and then tomorrow we'll be flying out from Heathrow so very excited I'm all packed the weather the weather in Turkey at the minute it's not like hot hot but it's like 15 degrees which is amazing in comparison to the four degrees that it is currently in Newcastle so yeah buzzing with that although I'm not really looking forward to the train journey down because I'm going with the same company that Demi did and she said it wasn't very good so we'll see what it's like but yeah, let's go to Turkey. Oh, and if you're wondering as well, Billy here is being looked after by my next door neighbour. Um, she also has two cats, so she knows the crack with like how to look after a cat. And he, and he loves her, so yes. Um, Billy will be getting the best care whilst I'm away. Won't you? Oh, you don't want me to go. He's calling me. Oh. Paddington um, the Ubers not Ubers the undergrounds weren't actually that bad um, but I'm just having a wander to Demi's hotel and I'm gonna go and meet her there it's actually worth mentioning as well that the uh, train down wasn't nearly as bad as what Demi's was I don't think um, I don't know whether maybe I just got a newer train or um, I don't know but mine was very clean and yeah I also realized that you could um, log on to the free Wi-Fi and there was um, free films on there so I've been watching some films on the way down but yeah I wonder I don't think Demi's looked very nice but um, maybe he's had a bit of a more updated train I don't know I don't know <laughs> <laughs> just come to ask Italian and Demi's here so I've got my pizza and we're having some issues with Demi's hers is what delayed. Was it? delayed there's a mal malfunction in the kitchen <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. but yeah so looks pretty good so we're back at the hotel now um well at Demi's very hotel, glam very, hotel very not hotel. mentioned <laughs> Um, so I don't think I've actually mentioned in this vlog it's an easy hotel which yeah. is like run by EasyJet um <laughs> So not glam. There's, there's not much easy about it, not gonna lie. There's no there's no lift, is there? Um so I've had to drag my case up two flights of stairs. Um it's small. Um very small. Do you know what? If you were paying like 50 quid, then yeah. fine for what this is. But yeah. like how much did you pay? This was like over a hundred and eight. I paid over three hundred for three nights. 
So like 300 quid for three nights and let me give you just a quick tour. I mean, it's messy because our bags are everywhere because there's literally nowhere to put yeah. it. But... We haven't so, even got like a bedside table or a lamp. Like <laughs> this is literally the door to get in and then that's the bathroom that Demi's in. And then you come in, you've got that much floor before the bed and that goes around there. And then that's it. That is it. Um, it's going to be a squeeze. We'll be fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> the whole hotel in here is like, look. I know. Um, we had a look. We're going to have a proper look, but it looks nice. It does, to be fair, yeah. So, oh yeah, it's got easyhotel.com. But yeah, it's only, I mean, for me, it's only for one night. Yeah. But you've to had this. Fair, I got quite cosy last night. Yeah. Like, um, that's what we out. So it's just a place to lie our heads. I mean, we're getting up at like three o'clock in the morning, so it's not like we have a very long, so. Yeah. Yes. But I'll see you in the morning. Look. Good morning. It is 3.41. We're waiting for an Uber. How are you feeling? <laughs> Demi's had all of about 45 minutes sleep. <laughs> I know, I feel like I slept like a baby, but um, I I think overall rating of that hotel, we were just saying this morning, I looked up, like, I looked up the walls and there's, like, dusty walls, so it's not even clean, is it? Nah. And the shower was not in. I know, the shower was tiny as well. This morning, you like, they just had to get the shower. <laughs> all right, um, so taxi four minutes away to take us to terminal two at Heathrow and then we'll be off to Turkey. I'm actually excited. I'm so excited Same. now. I need to sleep on the plane and then I'll be fine when we get there. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I'll be all right. No, I think I think I'll fall asleep about three and nine o'clock or something. Yeah, but you're so nice thing was you were like in the bloody restaurant. We'll do an all nighter. <laughs> I, I was saying. The the <laughs> I was like, bye. <laughs> bye, bitch. <laughs> Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Now your love now is casual. And you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll always choose you first. You're my baby. It's true. It's true. Oh. At the hotel, I can't believe how nice this is. Oh my god! So we were picked up from the airport by um, a guy called Ali and a woman called Yasmin. They're going to be like our tour guides through uh, throughout the next couple of days. Let me show you the, this room because this is apparently one of the nicest hotels in in, in uh, Istanbul. This is when you come in, you've got the bathroom here, which looks like this. You've got like little double doors. You've got the double doors. How cute. Toilet, hello. Another mirror. <laughs> and then the shower. Lovely. And then when you come through here, got some hanging space. And then the bed. This bed is absolutely huge. And then you've got some little seating area, telly, another mirror. And then look at the view from the window. You can just see everything. I didn't realise we were getting separate rooms, um, but buzzing, but absolutely buzzing. Um, so we're not actually meeting for dinner until half past seven, and it's currently about quarter past four, I think. Um, so I'm gonna grab myself a shower because I feel disgusting, absolutely disgusting, but we're in a new hotel, we've gotta do it. <laughs>
rooftop bar. We've just had a really nice meal and look at the views behind us. Oh my god. Unreal. I can't go over this. It's so nice. It's literally, I feel like we're in New York. Yeah. Don't it we? Is, like yeah. all the lights, like everything. Is that in focus? Have I got something? Oh, you need to turn your smoothness off. Oh, so when I've you got Oh, yeah, when you fit. Right, I've just turned the setting off on my camera, which I didn't this know was on. Long. Yeah, <laughs> I managed to turn it off. Um, yeah, so unreal views. So, getting the pics. Getting the grand pics. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is just after midnight and um, I've just had a drink upstairs on the rooftop bar as you've just seen and I'm heading to bed now because I'm very tired and we're meeting the tour guide again at 10am tomorrow so I need to get up and get ready and have some breakfast before meeting them. Um, but what a brilliant first day in Istanbul. I'm, yeah, soaking it all in and yeah, I'm just really happy, really happy to be here. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> guys so it is day two in Istanbul um I'm gonna meet Demi downstairs for breakfast in a minute I'm just getting myself ready and then we've got quite a busy itinerary today um I believe today we are going to Taksim um and go to do you know this is so blurry I actually don't know what it says <laughs> so it's gonna be a surprise um what we're doing um, but yes, I need to go and see Demi for breakfast first um, and then we'll be cracking on with the day. One thing I actually didn't know until I got here, right, is that the name for the country Turkey isn't Turkey anymore. And I actually, that quite shocked me because I didn't, I don't know if it's just because, I mean, I might be just ignorant to the news or to like general what goes on in other places. I don't really watch the news if I'm honest, but it's actually called Turkey now. So it's spelled T-U-R-K-I-Y-E um, and it's pronounced Turkey. So yeah, I didn't know that. Um, and I also didn't realise that Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey anymore. It used to be. Me saying Turkey straight after, after I've just said it's Turkey. But yeah, Istanbul is not the capital anymore. It used to be, uh, but it isn't anymore. So I am definitely learning things on this trip, which I didn't um, know before. So yeah, soaking up the views behind me from the hotel. I can't believe this. I, just, I can't believe that I'm here. It's so bizarre. So grateful. Let's see what's in store. Today, to be honest, I mean, today they said that the weather was going to be a little bit like wet and rainy so i've got on let me show you what my outfit is it's nothing exciting if i'm honest but i've just got some plain leggings on a hoodie and then i've got some of the like platformed converse on and then i'm just gonna pop like an oversized leather jacket on with it and then that'll be what i'm wearing I'm, I, do you know what for these types of things whenever i go away on holiday or whatever i always plan these like outfits and then i end up just wearing what i feel comfortable in which i guess is kind of what you should wear um, but I always like try and think of these like super like unique out outfits and then I end up wearing leggings and a hoodie so never mind. are a bit quite different than the other streets because they have been designed with the European architecture style. Uh, uh, I took, I took uh, this road because I want you also see the old city. For example, on your across there is a city. Now you will see it on your right across also. And that city is the old city of the Istanbul. The Constantinopolis was called for the place which stay inside that peninsula actually. For example, this place was the old city, the new city, and this area was called as the Para, even our hotel's name. Para was a Latin word in the meaning of the across. I 
just want to take them all home. <laughs> I've just seen a really like chubby dog as well. Yeah, we've so. seen a big fat dog. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Now we are going to walk inside the Galata port and we are going to walk inside by this building. This building was the oldest mansion ever been built in this section. <coughs> it had been built around 1907 and it had been used as a port for the first time. Then the Ottomans had been used this place as a post office, as a hospital as well. Left across you are going to see there is a traditional police station from the Ottoman times actually. So we're just having a wander around the Galata port which looks so pretty. Um, We've just been speaking to the guy we think from the count like the council. I think yeah. Yeah, um, I think but you probably put a lot of money into this. Oh, basically, God. I think it was, was 1.4 billion. 1.4 billion into building this. Um, so yeah, it just looks amazing. And I think it was only about a year ago. Yeah, it was uh, built. So yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. And we've got some free time now, so we're gonna have a little wander around and have a look in the shops. tried this before with one of my neighbours. Um, they're not Turkish but they, do, they drink Turkish coffee and uh, it's served with a little snack on the side. Unfortunately I can't have it because it's got nuts on it um, but basically they serve it with some sweet snacks and some water um, to find out whether their guest is hungry or not. So if they go for the food first then they're hungry and then they'll make them some food and then if they go for the water first then they're not hungry and they're fine. So yeah, and then we've got some other snacks here and some Turkish delight. But yeah, it's lovely. That was a proper cheesy style. <laughs> proper good. Dennis trying her first one. What do you think? Oh, it's very strong, isn't oh it? Oh god, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like strong coffee, but that is strong. Yeah. I need this coffee to wash it down. <laughs> what do you guys think of the coffee? Which one? The, the Turkish one. one. The, the Turkish one is quite earthy. Like, yeah. It's quite thicky. Yeah. It's nice though, isn't I it? I do like bitter things. Yeah. Bitter yeah. and better. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. I also like that it comes with a little Turkish snack as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like good. That. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you guys, these guys are doing it. Is it a hundred dollars? What you can get for a hundred dollars in? What you can get for a hundred dollars in Turkey. Love, Love that. that. Which so is like a thousand five hundred lira. Right. Wow. That doesn't roll off the tongue. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think of the Turkish, uh, Turkish coffee? Strong. Very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Right, we better not do that for your camera. Very strong, yeah. but very nice. I think because it's such a it's a small cup, isn't it? it yeah, really it's, got it's so strong. strong. <coughs> How did what did you just say, Nougat? No, you didn't. Yes, he did. We've had this debate before. Oh my She's, god! Oh, she so says, the thing is, right? I don't call it that. I've never heard anyone pronounce it that way until I met her. I call nougat. it nugget. Yeah. I call it so wrong. Do you call it nugget? No way. It's nougat. nougat. Yeah. It is nougat. <laughs>
the price on it, then it's not in my budget. Designers, or you guys are working with various designers as part of the. No, no, various designers. We also have our. We have our collaboration with Kate Bush, who's an amazing designer. Yeah, beautiful. What's the price point on that? This one is $120,000. <laughs> <laughs> I get why she's wearing glasses. Yeah. <laughs> We've just been to um, a designer boutique and just had a look at some of the um, bags and things in there. I couldn't believe one of them she had gloves on was 100000 100000 if only, If only I had the money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some beautiful pieces. Um, and we're just walking down to lunch now. So... Shazan Salim Salim Jodi and right now we're in Istanbul. It's a fashion trip organized by TGA. We had the store called Bay. It's it's one and only store over here. I just spoke to the owner over here and the collection is so classy. It's, it's really good for all the men out there who are looking forward to dress, look simple but at the same time stylish, then Bay is the store in the Istanbul that you gotta be coming to. to get a nut-free baklava, so very excited to try that, see what it's like. Oh my god, so nice. Is it nice? Yeah. What is it like, just sweet? So sweet, yeah. Mmm, oh I like that. It looks like it might help to do it. Mmm, that's so good. We have a water pipe in their homes in Istanbul till the, till the 21st century, so the people who had storage their waters by these fountains which had been built by the sultans in the past. You can imagine these things like a public service and today's free Wi-Fi zones actually. Oh, oh, evening meal and I'm absolutely knackered. 
Okay, we're heading back to the hotel now. It's about half past nine. I'm so stuffed. I'm so tired. I'm ready for bed. Good morning. So I am traveling home today. So sad. Um, me and Demi are about to meet up for breakfast and then our transfer to the airport is at 10.45. Um, so yeah, it's it started raining actually outside. So I'm not, you know, we can, I don't mind. Um, but I can't believe how amazing this last couple of days has been. I can't, I can't even fathom just the fact that I've been here for the last couple of days. So, um, yeah, it's been so good. Like I was just thinking last night and I was like looking through my photos and I just, it's just a completely different world, you know, like when I've done solo travel stuff, it's all been to kind of like, you know, your standard holiday places, um, like Ibiza, Tenerife, Paris, stuff like that. But then Istanbul is just like a completely different culture. It's a completely different like way of life. It's just, it's so amazing. And yeah, I'm just really grateful that I've been here. So yeah, it's been amazing. I can't, I don't know how many times I've just said the word amazing there, but you, you get the gist. So yeah, I'm just gonna head down to breakfast now, meet up with Demi, and then we'll just be waiting for the transfer. Actually, our flight is um from Istanbul to Heathrow. So once we get to Heathrow, we then have to go to King's Cross and then get a train back to Newcastle. So it's gonna be a long day, um, but we do just have like an open return ticket so we can just get on any train or any Lumo train to get back. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be a long, long day. I honestly, I feel like I'm gonna sleep either in the transfer or probably on the aeroplane because I'm so tired. Like the last couple of days have been amazing, but they have been hectic. They've been so busy, like nonstop. Um, yesterday we didn't like have time to come back to the hotel and like get changed for dinner or anything like that because we literally went from 10 a.m. right through till 10 p.m. There was no stopping. So yeah, it's been super hectic um, and I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> issues because we didn't realize that when we booked an open return ticket that the train company wasn't LNER it was Lu uh, Lumo train services and they didn't have a train until 8 30 p.m and there was and we couldn't get on any of the other ones before it because we were still on the plane um so they didn't run as often as we thought so it's it's been a late one let's just say that um but I'm I'm home now I'm absolutely knackered I'm going to say a quick hello to Billy and then go to bed. Um, probably Billy will be in the bed with me, no doubt. Um, but yeah, what a couple of days that's been. It's been absolutely amazing. I know I said all this at the hotel, but what a whirlwind of a couple of days. I can't believe it. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. I know that you guys love the travel vlogs and I'm hoping to keep them coming. But yeah, I'm just going to end this vlog here because I have to absolutely go to bed now. Otherwise, I will otherwise I'll just collapse on the floor and just sleep there so yeah anyway I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one bye guys baby let me love you let me love you let me love you let me love you